Hi, welcome to the fourth part. This part is on area portals. We talked in previous version of uh, previous parts where how the map, how Vivis fills your maps with viz leaves, and those are pre-rendered areas what can be drawn. Area portals are not really the same, but they kind of are in a way. I'll explain it more. Um, I have the same map loaded, but this map is not at all like the other one. This one has no visly, I mean, hit and skip in it. I didn't hit, hit and skip this one. I can prove it by bringing it up. Matt, wireframe, three, and there's, there's the dogs there. All right, but how area portals work are completely different. There's nothing, like, I didn't hit and skip this, but yet that's not drawn. And an area portal works is it's constantly making calculations of what can be seen. So if used correctly, they're very effective, but if not used correctly, they're, they're very bad. Like you see, I jump, I can start to see the dogs, so they're getting drawn. And it, it pre-renders like a little couple segments. So I have a funk door rotating over here, and if you notice, it's cut through. If I press E on it, it instantly starts to draw. And if I look through the door right here, it only draws the dogs of which ones I can see or am about to see. So, we're going to learn how to do this, and you have to be very careful with doing this because you can cause leaks with area portals. So, let's go on Hammer, and I'll show you what's up. Alright, so we're now on Hammer, and here's the area that I'm using for the area portals. You'll see that I have an area portal on the top, because when you use an area portal, the entire level, the entire area actually has to be sealed either by brush or by area portal. So if I were to have a window in this wall here, I'd have to put an area portal on it so it wouldn't leak. Like, I'll show you what happens if I delete this and I compile the map. Again, you can check leaks with just BSP. And if you look up in your compile, it says brush number area portal doesn't touch two areas. It only touches one. If you go to load point file, it'll load a point file, and you'll see you have this infinite loop, basically, on your area portal. If you put the area portal back and you recompile it, no more leak. So, that's the main thing that you want to make sure. Now, area portals are typically only used on doors. That's what I like to use them only on doors, and I like to hit and skip the rest of the map. Because that's a very effective way of doing this. If you overuse area portals, they tend to make your map lag because it's constantly making all these calculations of what can be seen through all these area portals, where as viz leaves are pre-rendered. So you want to make sure that you don't overuse these, only use them indoors, and, you know, really think before you place an area portal. So I'm going to show you how to make an area portal really quick. Super simple, really easy to use, gets the job done. So if you have a door, usually prop door rotating. You want to go to your brush tool, and you want to create the brush. Usually only one segment thick for a door model, because that's all that can fit inside of it. And you want to make sure that your door, that the area portal brush is inside the door. You do not want to be able to see the area portal at all in this. So then you select the area portal brush, and you make it a funk area portal and you want the initial state to be closed. When it's closed, you can't see through it at all. It's like it's, it's blocking your view completely. When it's open, it's making all the calculations to see what you can see. And then, you want to make name a linked door. You just name it what the door is. And let's say you're using a funk move linear. Um, you'd want to go to open outputs. Then you'd want on open, and then you want to open the area portal and on fully closed. You want to close the area portal. So just keep that in mind when you're doing that. And now, like I said, if I were to compile the map, I get the leak area portal and touch two sides. So you want to make another area portal on top or through any other ways that it can leak out. But also remember, if you can use a roof or a, a, a brush, actually, instead of another area portal, try to do that because then you won't be making more calculations. But if you're going to do it this way and it's not through a door, you want to make it Funk Area Portal, and you want its initial state to be open. And that's it. You don't want it to change anything else. You don't want it to be closing and opening and closing and opening. You don't want it to do that. So, and now if you press F9, run your map, you won't have any leaks. If you have any leaks, patch them up. Put some area portals there, some brushes or something, and get them out on their way. 
this is tutorial on optimization. This was the area portal segment. We have one more segment coming up, and that's on occluders. So, see you there.